Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the last video, we had some trouble in the seas on our way to the experimental staff. Had a boss fight with Manalus, and now we are at the experimental staff. So, we just got done looting the inside of the ship that we arrived on, and now we are taking our first steps into the experimental staff marine division. Okay, so what you're going to want to do here is make sure you're very thorough, get all the items because there's a lot of stuff that we're going that you can miss here potentially for the whole game. So you're going to want to be really careful. But for now, just go ahead and follow the catwalk and then hang right whenever the pass splits for the first time and you'll come to a chest. Go ahead and open that for a slot seed. Now go ahead and continue up to the uh, north. Hang right and then head back south again. And you'll come to another chest. This contains six generators. So now we have the outside area looted. Um, we're going to go ahead and head inside. And this is the power division of the staff. Mommy, damn! What's he doing here? Does he got a twin or something? Hey, Ew, no. it. Guys without a brain can still walk. And go ahead and head up the steps. And there's a ladder to the right, but there's nothing we can do down there at this time. Go ahead and head to the top of the stairs, and on the right hand side you'll find a chest that contains a cure-all. Now before we continue on to the next area, it's going to be a pain I know, but we're going to have to um, go to your skills and go ahead and switch the Lucky Zero Magic Damage for Kime with steel and combo for Seth steel and Sarah you can go ahead and use uh, mental stability in place of steel and finally Ming the same thing steel so now that we have steel on all of our um characters and you can even equip the thief's bracelet on the cook to make this go by a lot quicker and what you're going to want to do is we're going to get into a random battle with these people called the Urin Guardsmen Looks like we got and what chance. we're going to do is we're going to have to steal a key item called the gate pass from them and there they are so first of all get this big guy out of your way
one gate pass. So just go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Oh, we don't want to kill this dude. Oh my god, we killed him anyways. <laughs> I hate being overpowered. Got it, nice, very nice. So we have two gate passes. Wow, and this guy is guarding our gates. Like it couldn't have guarded last time. Okay, so now, um, you really only need one of these so-called gate passes, but if you want to get some good extra items and create some really quick shortcuts, I would recommend getting five. Um, well, here's the lowdown. If you want to get all the items, you need four, but if you want to create a shortcut, you need a total of five. So... I'm going to go ahead and get five. We have two already, so we need three more. And it's really easy as long as you equip steel with every character you have. You should have it in no time. But uh, you can actually find the Urine Guardsmen in all places of the Experimental Staff. But here they kind of pop up more than normal. So that's why I usually, um, I usually get it here while I can.
Alright, so with that out of the way, you can go ahead and switch your um, skills back to the way they were. Lucky zero magic damage on Kime. Combo on Seth. Mental stability on Ming and Sarah. And finally, you're going to want to equip Cook with those Sorcerer Earrings. Alright, so now that we have um, our Gate Passes, I'm just going to check to make sure I have five. Yes, I do. I have five Gate Passes, and I'm going to continue deeper into the Experimental Staff.
following the lower platform until you reach a chest over to the right that contains four pendulums. Now head back across and climb the ladder. And go ahead and operate the green lever to the left. This will raise another crate that you can now walk across. And notice that we have come to a, an electric barrier. This is where the gate passes come in. So you'll need a single gate pass for each uh, electric barrier. Which is why I told you to get about five of them. So go ahead and insert the gate pass to lower the electric barrier. And now you'll see there's an elevator here that we can use to access another part of the area. But before we do that, you're going to want to go ahead and head back the way you came. And this time head to the south. Oh, <laughs> and I ran right into that. Um, barrier go ahead and operate this because there's a chest behind it it's in the southwest corner choose to insert the gate pass to lower the electric barrier and open the chest this contains night earrings which is very good go ahead and equip that to Kime so we can get him uh, get him learning that right away now go ahead and head further south um, and it'll be uh, pretty hard to see flight of stairs to the very very south of where you were just at and press the button to the far left of the steps to raise a platform with a chest on it And this contains three bug stomach. Now with all of that taken care of, go ahead and cross back over the bridge and head to the elevator that we did not ride earlier. <laughs> Once on board, choose to operate it to be taken up. Arriving, you'll see a chest blocked by an electric barrier, but ignore it for now and run a little bit to the north to find a ladder. Go ahead and climb down that ladder and open the chest on the lower platform for five gutsy claws. head back a little south and activate the green button on Kime's right hand side. This will raise a crate to the south so that we now have access to a bridge. Then head south and insert another gate pass to unlock the security gate. Open the chest that's behind that for the White Lotus uh, weapon for Mac and the Lotus Ring. Very good combo. We're going to go ahead and put that on Mac right away. Ooh, damage level 2. We're going to go ahead and put that on... Um, Time right away. Very good ring. So continue east and hit another scene. Yes, bringing late. Got to ride the dad. We don't know if it's from the scaffolding or something else. That's a pet that's around an area. Yeah, you heard more than Gora. We're supposed to ignore that.
But I won't let them manipulate me. No, I'll never go back. Alright, so after the scene with Gongora, we are at the experimental staff, the upper division, and we're really running low on time guys, and there is no save point nearby, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and cut it here and pick up right where I left off uh, on the next episode. Matter of fact, I'm going to pause it, um, and I'll be right back with the next episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey.